it is Liverpool nil, Manchester United nil, Manchester United collecting one point against Liverpool after everyone expected our ass to get whooped. You men expected our ass to get put on a table, put in a t-shirt, put in a spliff. But well, guess what, guys? Our ass did it. You know what? Because we got the one point against Liverpool. Liverpool. Yes, we did. Because Liverpool was dog shit at times. You know what? For all the possession they had, all the balls that they had pulled, and all the opportunities they had as well, with all the shots, it didn't amount to anything. And yes, I want to be shameless because I deserve to be shameless because I expected us to get toasted. <laughs> but we did it. We did it. We actually done something. We put, we got stuck together. We put ourselves together, and guess what? We amounted to ensuring that we don't concede goals. We kept the clean sheet away from home and at Liverpool for a very long time. And I have to say, I'm a delight for that. But we played shit, absolute dog shit all the time, guys. Every day of the second, just giving the ball away, giving it away 24/7. Recycling the ball and giving it away again and again and again and again and again and again. My God, we need saving in that midfield. We thought we had Amrabat and Kobe Mano. What we wanted in midfield. It didn't amount to anything. McTominay spearheading people say, let him spearhead. It didn't amount to anything. And I can see the Liverpool with 34 shots. It was to Manchester United, 6. 8 on target, 1 on target for Manchester United. We can take this away and be like, you know what? We was lucky with our thirty-one percent possession of in this game. Thank God, guys! Just thank God we got over it. It was a hard one for us to watch, but we got over it. You know, in that first forty-five minutes. Oh my God! I have to say, uh, we was decent though. I'm not gonna lie. Considering the circumstances in the first forty-five minutes, we was decent. Anthony stressed me out. He he absolutely stressed me out. You know, he stresses you guys out, McTominay as well, stressed me out. And who would have thought? Scott McTominay, the captain. And he captained a team that didn't lose a game at Anfield. I don't remember the last captain that we had winning it. Bruno Fernandes almost lost it. But McTominay showed composure. But I'm really happy about that, guys. I'm really happy. The second half was the same. Liverpool were horrible, guys, throughout the whole 90 minutes. But so was we. We was even worse off. But to get the point, it is good. It's what we needed, what we wanted as well. Looking at players today, oh, I have to say, you know what, Anthony? Anthony is a bag of shit. You know what? Giving the ball away, doing nonsense. This guy is a defensive winger. Yes, Bay Blading, Spinner Rooney, 3 2 1 little, little, let it, 3 2 1, let it rip. I've had enough of this guy, bruv. I've had enough of this defensive winger who creates absolutely anything throughout the whole entire game, just being annoying. And he played a lot of minutes, and I thought Manchester should have taken him off. Scott McTominay, I asked myself, why? Why? Play Hannibal, like for like, Eric Ten Hag. Like for like. You know, Bruno for Hannibal. Someone that can just get what people on the half turn. But you play Scott McShat, McMail, McLight, McDynamite, you know, Mc... Mayo light, make shadow, and you wonder why we did nothing in midfield. McTominay was shite, Mike shite. Onano did all right today. He said this a lot of times. Raphael Varan, magnificent with Johnny Evans. That defense did this job today, you know, including Diego Dalo at times, winning balls, winning headers as well. I have to say, I'm, I'm delighted with those players that did well and stood up. Man of the match today, guys, has to go to Rafael Varane, an absolute monster in defence today. Everywhere, fighting, everything, eating it up. Mr. Vavavum, you see, this is why we needed the experience today, you know. I reckon it would have went worse with Maguire and the team. And, of course, big up to the manager for getting this game to sell right but the player selection and and the execution was poor but to get these players doing well defensively against Liverpool was good but then again Liverpool was shit 
Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Average Bass. Let me know who your man the match is. Let me know who your donkey of the match is as well. And let me know what your thoughts in the comments. We are back live again tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time for the catch up with the man them to discuss this game plus latest Manchester United news. As always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. We've got a point. Peace.